Good day, good morning, and God bless. Welcome to today's devotional time. Let us pray. Thank you, Lord, for a brand new day with brand new possibilities. Lord, there is a freshness in the air when we've had a time to seek forgiveness. And so we continue our prayers of confession, seeking to be reconciled to our brother and sister, especially as we approach together this world day of communion, as we approach together your table, or that we might have peace one with another as we come to this table. For your table is that table of peace, the table that recognizes the Passover long ago, the table that recognizes most of all the gift of your son, for you loved us so much. Lord, let us not set aside that table and all its meaning and all its truth and all its revelation to us, and that it prepares us for the banqueting table in heaven. Lord, help us this day as we look to the, to the purposes that we share, the calling together to, to be a part of the harvest that you are making, Lord, to look to the bounty of what you have given and take it in fully. Lord, help us to celebrate it together by being diligent in service to one another and to glorify your name in the praise we share. Lord, help us to be a part of one another's healing and to reach out with your good news to all people that the healing might be in more than body, but in wholeness and in spirit, that we might, in the practice of our faith, in the living of our faith, declare your truth this day and always. In Christ we pray. Amen. And in that truth, we turn to uh, Scripture this day, to Proverbs, reading in chapter 10 at verse 5. He that gathereth in summer is a wise son, but he that sleepeth in harvest is a son that causes shame. Blessings are upon the head of the just, but violence covereth the mouth of the wicked. Sometimes as you read through the Proverbs, it's sort of one proverb says one thing and then the next proverb says something that seems completely unrelated. And we might dismiss these two in such circumstance. But when it comes to, the, to God's justice, God has, as Ecclesiastes says, put everything in its season. And there is a season for letting things grow and letting them come to their fullness and when it comes to especially our gardens, it's a time to take things in. Today, right now, we're at that season where we're just on the edge. We're, we're looking at the garden saying that stuff needs to come out. That its work is done. The plants are done. And there's a few plants like that. If I cover that, it might give me a few more weeks and a slightly, a few more gourds and, 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 and squashes and stuff. But, Really, the garden is finished, and it's time to, to take it in, to till it in, and to get it ready for next season. It's time to get ready to change things up a bit, and it's time to, to look at uh, what God is calling us to do, to finish, and to get ready to do in the seasons to come. And that's the steps of justice. It's more, justice is more than uh, enacting laws. Justice is bringing out the best in people and celebrating that the best, the best that is done and getting ready to do more and in different ways uh, as the season changes and as things change. The law can't be rigid. Justice can't be as rigid as rules and regulations. And even the commandments of God went through seasons of of consideration and when are they applicable and some are important for for certain festivals and others are important for times of prayer and worship everything has it has its timing and, and it's I encourage you to look today at what your timing it is what you're to call called to do right now not what you did 10 years ago not what you've been doing for 25 years but look at what God is calling you to do right now and to find the justice and the peace and the satisfaction in that. That you in the right time may be awake for the harvest you're called to reap. And the service we are called together to give. God bless and keep you. Amen.